Alright everybody, it's time for a new uh, playthrough. And it's going to be of um, Seven Screen Brotherhood. It's going to be pretty awesome. Um, and also, I'm going to do Assassin's Creed. I'm going to continue Assassin's Creed 1 and uh, Assassin's Creed 2 after I beat this game and Fallout New Vegas. So, whatever. Let's get started with it. By the way, I heard this game was really, really good. So I'm excited for this. Alright, finally. It took a while. I'm oh, sorry, my phone's going off. Okay. Alright, so that's your brotherhood. Let's go. Um, story mode, first session, Let's see, yeah, sure, why not? I don't think anyone ever expects to wake up one morning and find themselves caught in the middle of a war between two secret organizations. I know I didn't, but here I am. On one side are the Templars, better known these days as Abstergo Industries. They're in the business of control, politics, Economics, technology, they won't stop until every single one of us serves them, literally. Oh, snap. Fighting against them are the Assassins, a group dedicated to safeguarding humanity's free will. I was born into the Brotherhood. Nice. A couple of weeks ago, the Templars found me. They took me prisoner, strapped me into a machine they built and put me to work. It's called an Animus. That's where I spent most of my Lucy. time. An evil doctor guy. Ancestors, discovering entire lives locked deep inside my DNA. First, I revisited the life of Altair Ibn Lahaha, an assassin from the Crusades. The Templars wanted the location of something known as a piece of Eden, an ancient artifact capable of bending people to their will. Once the Templars had what they were looking for, they decided my usefulness had come to an end. But Lucy saved me. Yeah, I see. When things were at their worst, she revealed herself to be oh, yeah, I love that part. escape. I was hoping that would be the end of my misadventures. But we were just getting started. Back into another animus I went. Now, I'm reliving the memories of Ezio Auditore da Firenze, my ancestor from the Renaissance, searching for a path forward. Through the bleeding effect, I'm becoming an assassin in more than just name. It will come in handy as the Templars prepare to enslave us all. They found us. They've crashed our hideout and we're fleeing the scene looking for a place to hide. Only there isn't any and time is running short. My name is Desmond Miles and this is my story. Of the time I first killed someone. Yo. Um, in the second game, in the second game, like the ending, uh, Desmond Miles becomes an assassin. He like starts killing everyone trying to get to the evil doctor guy. I don't remember his name right now, but I'm pretty sure we'll see him again this game. Oh well, what's happening here? Uh. 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 How did you fight? Mario, I'll be torn Let me hear. X, 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 Come on. Oh, come on. I'd say you're better than that. Technical difficulties. Huh? Okay. Whatever, don't question the game. I have to run some diagnostics. I'll get back to you. And I got a U play. Cool. Desmond, I don't understand. 
have so many questions. Also from the uh, second game, the ending. Oh, so we start off here. Are you serious? That's awesome. Nice. Start the second. Start the third game with the ending. It's nice. And that's what like, the dead pope is, or something like that. I don't remember. Last time I actually played the second game was a while ago. And I believe that's the staff that the uh, Pope used too. The controller is vibrating. to cut this right now. I don't know how long it is, but whatever. See ya, people.